cooking. What's happening with you? I'm good. We have a show for you. Well, Eva does. And she's hoping that we're not through. I got to get something, though. Um, you know, making these videos, I got to kind of think ahead about what kind of cool stuff I want to show you. Get said stuff, and then on we go. So, Eva, what do you know? Finny, what do you know, baby? Finny's here. We like Finny. Come here, baby. Come here. Go up here. Go up here. There you go, buddy. Hey, it's Finny. 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 Ah. 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 I'm gonna get you. Anyway, cool kids, this video today is a special one. Um. It's for our old buddy Tom's coins. Yeah, he was showing off his coins again. And it's hilarious because I just happen to have a version of the coin he has on his video. So I, being the friendly neighborhood coin collector that I am, silver stacker extraordinaire, <laughs> I figured my old buddy Tom's coins might enjoy this coin. And with no further ado, I have to go get it for you. <laughs> All right, cool kids. This proof. Proofy goodness is what our buddy Tom's Coins wanted to see. He told me that it had to be this coin. It could be any other coin that I showed him, except maybe the copper nickel version, like the one he has. No, no, no. He said he had no idea there was a proof of this coin. And... There's a good reason for that, because there's only 100,000 of these in the whole world. And what do we pay for this? Well, we paid a good bit over melt. Um, so melt on this would be about 20 bucks right now. Uh, I think at the time of purchase, though, silver was about the same price as it is now. I don't know if you guys, I was looking at the charts the other day. Silver's been in a holding pattern for like three years. There was a nice time to buy. I think 2021 was the year to buy. 2020 before the drop. But after the big rise in August of 2020, it got stupid. And then 2021 hit, we had a nice little drop. And throughout 2021, it was a good year to buy. We're getting back up into the high stupid prices again. But uh, this coin celebrates as uh, if you watch Tom's Coins video. Um, this is the anniversary, yeah, of our old buddies um, Philip and Queen Elizabeth II, their uh, 25th wedding anniversary, if I remember right. Which is, you know, a heck of a momentous occasion. And uh, the letters here stand for Elizabeth and Philip. And it even says Elizabeth and Philip. And it has a date. And so if you're a big Queen Elizabeth nut, this coin is something you might want to get because there's only 100,000 of them in the whole world. But. Other things we can talk about are the fact that uh, <clears throat> double florins are weird. That's a fact. You know? <laughs> yeah. 
Yeah, that's an oddball denomination, isn't it? But uh, half crowns are cool. I like half crowns. Ooh, half crown. Nice. <laughs> yeah. Yes, indeed. So, in conclusion, I would like to say thanks for watching and uh, have an amazing day. Edward the Seventh, he just won't go away um, from my heart because of the coins he made. Because look at these freaking florins, man. If you don't have one of these florins, you got to get one. Seriously. They are gorgeous coins. And then, let's not forget old Georgie Porgy. Old Georgie the Third. The bank token from 1811 the old Napoleonic stuff right ah, gotta love the good Napoleonic stuff I've always said that yep we get a nice interesting mix of silvers um, you know the one thing I love about the United States and I, I really mean this from the bottom of my heart right the United States right Ain't got, in general, like this coin here, this is a good example. It's not in the best shape, but it's one of them cool florins we were just talking about. And in the United States of America, I can get this coin for $2.19. Now, the silver weight is 0.3364, which is almost as much as a half dollar. It is sterling silver. And it's got Britannia on it. Now again, this one's not in great shape. It's probably about good. Uh, the reverse is worse than the obverse, which usually is the opposite. Usually it's the obverse that's bad and the reverse that's okay. But that's not the point. The point is, you know, you can get these coins... In the United States, man, if you're a British coin collector, <laughs> um, yeah, the U.S. might be the place. <laughs> yeah. Get some, find some pretty cool stuff. I got some, I got a really nice, oh, there it is. Three pins. I like, this one's toned. You can't really, yeah, there it is. You can see it. It's got this awesome toning to it. Rainbow toning. You see that? Man. That is a pretty one. You know? And... I don't know, man. This is nice. They're nice. Sterling silver. This one's over melt. I mean, come on. You're not going to get a a toner like this under melt. I guess you could, but even the backside's got a rainbow hue to it. That's a pretty coin. What do you guys think of the old British coins, the new British coins, you know, and everything in between? Here's another florin that's probably under melt. You old gothic kid. Gotta love these, man. You get, if you don't have one, you should get one. Uh, India has a gothic head design. All the Indian coins uh, in the uh, later 1800s um, are cool. Very cool coins, man. Um, 0.916, if I remember right, on the purity. And that is always nice. Oh, and I got, oh, I love these. These are great. I love this stuff, man. These three pences, man, I, I'm telling you, there's just something about them. So this is the old uh, matron head. Yeah, these are cool. I paid, you know, you paid a little extra for the good stuff. But that's a pretty nice coin. And then, um, the, oh, one of my favorites. Yeah. Oh, yeah, you gotta love these gotta love these okay so I got two of them now there is a larger one if any of you want to donate it to me I'll take it uh, these were actually 
at her special ceremony um, for her uh, jubilee. Yeah. And it's got the young head and the old head design. And it's 10 grams of uh, sterling silver. But they're official metals. These were sold in London at the actual Jubilee, 1837 to 1897. 60 years. 60 years of Queen uh, Victoria. So these are actually well over 100 year old metals. And of course I didn't pay anywhere near melt for them, but sometimes you just gotta pay for the cool stuff, guys, you know? Uh, here, here's a really neat, neat coin under melt. Um, or really close to it. Now, this one's dinged up, but again, <laughs> you know, we bought this near melt at $10.77 for 0. 0.4205 ounces so very cool anyway guys I could go on all day there's some neat coins out there man the English they had some cool coins you know something you don't don't think about but you guys might want to look into are these three pence coins um, especially after 1940 And especially in higher grades, they start to get pretty valuable. You know, very neat. This coin's actually a... It's got toning on it, but the actual coin isn't. That's not horrible. It's not in bad shape. What do we pay for this? $1.25. I mean, 1902, you know, I don't know, man, these are cool. Every time I get a chance, I'll grab them, you know, guys, thanks for watching. Have an amazing day. Tom's coins. I better hear back from you, man. Uh, the gauntlet has been thrown down. Yeah, son, yeah. Show me your British silver. Um, the cool stuff. Cool stuff. You know what? You guys like them old school crowns? You know? Look here. Here's old Georgie. Georgie, Georgie, Georgie. Yeah. Oh, I mean it's I mean it's a slick, but there he is. Oh Georgie. And then you oh yeah, cool stuff like this, man. This is anytime I see anything in the crown size. I don't have a rocking horse yet either, guys. I believe 1935 is when they made them. But there's a coin called the Rocking Horse. It's got George the Fifth on it. Anyway, I don't have one, but I got this for $25.98, man. Now this is the Jubilee head, if I remember right. Yeah, pretty cool. That's from 1889. 1889. And then here's a matron head. Ye old matron head from 1900 and uh, there's St. George being all St. Georgie woo guys peace to be with you namaste have an amazing day and uh, I hope everything is okay like share and subscribe all that jive if you can't find oh wow luster for 71 cents if you can't find all the collectibles of your dreams while you're awake well you're doing it wrong because i'm showing them to you 
Have an amazing day.